Hey, Rosia with another online dating tip for you. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rose. If you're new here, uh, I go by Rose Blogger on TikTok, Rose Blogger 2 on Instagram, Rose Blogger 2. And my website is roseblogger.com. Okay, so on this channel, we talk about online dating and we talk about interracial dating. And we also talk about interracial relationships. So um, in today's video, I want to address the issue of age gap <laughs> relationships and, and especially when it comes to interracial age gap relationships. Now, uh, I'm focusing mainly on uh, young African women who get involved with uh, foreign men who are much, much older than them. Okay. And I actually want to focus on things that you, you should uh, watch out for to determine whether your relationship is toxic or not and before we get into that i just want to say because our and especially now our young kenyan ladies because i'm from kenya a lot of our kenyan ladies are so obsessed with uh, getting a mzungu getting involved in an interracial relationship and they don't care whether uh, the men that get, they are getting involved with are much much older than them they don't care whether they're gonna treat them well or not it's all about showing off on social media that you know look at me i have a muzungu now uh, i just want to say that things can get very complicated when you enter into these uh, relationships and also especially when, when you are actually depending on this person financially um if you end up in the wrong hands it could get very bad for you my sister now these are things that i want you to look out for i want you to examine your relationship and see if you're seeing these kinds of things happening so uh, let's say for example you're very young and i always focus on very young people because if you're a bit older you're able to make the right decisions about about your life like let's say if you're in your in your 30s i'm not focusing on you <laughs> come on girl you're grown i'm talking about very young girls you know 19 20, 21, 22. These girls are so young and a lot of them are actually naive. And we also have these beliefs about white people. You know, white people are good people. We have this white savior mentality. And when you end up in the wrong hands, things can, as I said, can get very complicated. And you could get trapped in a relationship where you're not able to leave because, as I said, this man is actually supporting you financially. So, number one, this man tries to isolate you from your family members and from your friends. Okay, he starts even insulting your family members when they come to visit you. Let's say you guys are living in Kenya. Um, when your family members come to visit you, he starts insulting them. He starts shouting at you. Why are they here? What, are, what do they want? Some of them, uh, will, <laughs> some of these white people are very obsessed with, with food. They'll be like, why are they always coming to eat here? Did they book an appointment? Did you know they, they were coming and you didn't tell me? Another thing is your friends, when you want to go out with your friends, they, he starts talking badly about your friends and he, done, he doesn't want you to hang out with those friends. He just wants you to hang out with his friends. And this is uh, it's, it's, it's a, a way of isolating you from your, your, your support. Like you, don't, you are not going to have any support, your support system. Um, and then another thing is actually using your youth against you like, oh, why don't you act mature? Why are you thinking so childish? Why are you so childish? And yet he got involved with you knowing very well that you are young, like you didn't get young when you moved into his house. And then another thing is when he tries to change your style, like let's say uh, your fashion sense, how you dress, how you do your hair, how you do your makeup. He tries to change that. Like if you liked gel nails, then suddenly he doesn't like that. If he, you like doing your hair a certain way, then he doesn't like that. So now he's trying to change you, maybe to make you into an old woman and you're not an old woman. Okay. Um, another thing I want to say is when you come up with an idea, like let's say a business idea or something that could actually uh, make you be productive and also give you some sense of dignity and freedom and independence, uh, and especially when it comes to finances, he will shoot down that idea so fast you won't believe it, like so fast. 
so when you see your ideas are being shot down he does not want to support you when it comes to your dreams your goals uh, then of course you will know that you're in trouble okay another thing is is like um when you you want to even advance in uh, even if it's not about a um, business or job maybe you want to advance in education he does not want you to do that and th all these things if you see these things happening in your relationship if you see your opinion is not being considered like you don't have a voice you know when you try you try to give an opinion about something it's shut down so quickly that he doesn't even let you finish you know giving your opinion or giving your idea then you need to know that you're in trouble and the thing is uh, to get out of these situations is is very difficult and especially when it advances to a point where now he has isolated you from your family members he has isolated you from your friends you have no money you have nowhere to go you depend on him for everything he does not give you uh, some money that you are in control of like for example he does not transfer money into your bank account where you are actually in charge of that money everything you need in fact some of them everything you need to produce receipt like if you say i'm going to buy this he needs to see the receipt so he can see if you spent all the money or you have any money left and if you have any money left he will make sure that you spend it so you have absolutely no money whatsoever so this financial control and emotional abuse and things like that uh, tend to actually injure your self-esteem you start forgetting who you used to be before you got involved with this man and this is a very high price to pay this is a very high price to pay for you to get a green card for you to get um, to live in, in 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 a mansion in kenya which is not in your name anyway if it was in your name then you could say you are staying there but at least you have a house so you have nothing apart from the clothes you're wearing uh, and shoes you have absolutely nothing and you're staying there and you're losing your youth the best years when you could have been hustling and, and planning your future you're just sitting there with this old man who has absolutely no intention of bettering your life these are things that we need to talk about we need to put this, these things in the open because people are suffering in silence people are not saying anything people are coming on social media abusing people and just you know <laughs> acting out because they are suffering uh, from things that they cannot talk about so I have put it out here. If you see that you're going through these things, um, it's high time you start coming up with a plan on how you're going to get out. Okay? How you're going to get out. Forget about what people are going to say because um, a lot of these women suffer because of what people will say when they leave. You can move to another town where nobody knows you and you start over. You can, like there is no point you staying there and suffering and and and, and falling into depression like what is the reason what is the reason so uh, i hope this video helped i wanted to uh, put it here because i have uh, time to share without uh, being restricted uh, by time that's why i wanted to record a long video and if you're going through this please 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 get out get out as soon as you can and uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please follow me on TikTok at roseblogger2. Uh, please visit my website, roseblogger.com. And if you have any question or you would like to reach out to me uh, via DM, I do that on Instagram at roseblogger2. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Bye-bye.